Hey guys, I'm Christine and today I want to introduce you to a small business in Old Town Torrance called Miyabi Uni. My husband and I biked here a few weeks ago and we noticed that they were selling some unusual things and so I just wanted to check in and see how they've been doing during this pandemic. Do you like shave ice? Yeah. What do you like the best about it? I like the best about it because I like ice. Six-year-old Juliana and her family cool off with $3 shave ice in a place that's typically known for much pricier food options. Uni means siruchen in Japanese. That's our main ingredients for mo many of our dishes here. We um, use it for pasta, sashimi, sushi, anything I can imagine. We even make ice cream with a siruchen. Shintaro Yano has managed Miyabi Uni since it opened in 2017. I think we're like a very unique restaurant. We have uh, diners visiting us from New York, China, Korea, Japan. I remember some guests was driving from Las Vegas too, so it's a niche restaurant, so people were taking time to travel all the way up to here. But he says everything changed the moment COVID-19 started making headlines. I remember like March 2nd, all of a sudden the sales dropped a lot, and then since the lockdown, we pretty much lost the business. Right now, we only have probably about 20% of the um, sales from pre previous year same, from the same time. Tables that were once filled with customers now sit empty. And colleagues who worked alongside Shintaro and his chef are gone. It's hard, yeah. It's sad. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of them. My coworkers, yeah. It's sad that I still remember the moment I had to inform them, oh, you know, we gotta let them go. Have you ever had to do that before? Not like this, yeah, not like this. Shintaro also lived and worked in both Japan and Hawaii. He says current circumstances remind him of other difficult chapters of his life. When I was living in Hawaii, we had the SARS and we have the Iraqi war. So in that time, since Hawaii is like a tourist based island, we lost all the tourists. Waikiki was nearly empty. He says when situations seemed hopeless, his neighbors stepped in. The reason why a lot of business survived at that moment, that hard moment, because like a lot of uh, local guests were supporting us. Even though we were in Waikiki, it's like Waikiki is not the spot for local people, but I we still remember a lot of like local people were, you know, trying to support us as much as they could. So this is more difficult uh, situation, but I, I think I had the idea how to survive. That priceless experience taught Shintaro about the importance of loving his neighbors, especially the elderly ones who live in this condo complex that's attached to Miyabi Uni. They were asking us if we have some eggs to spare for them. That's why we ended up just carrying the stuff that we have hard time buying at the grocery stores. I knew our suppliers were still having the chicken or the eggs, so we were just selling at pretty much at the cost. Shintaro's idea to offer more affordable menu items also came with his desire to give back. Every single guest has to be treated equal. Doesn't matter how much they spend. It's important for your business. So I know like a lot of places are charging like six bucks, seven bucks for shave ice, but come on, it's just shave ice. So something that we can offer to our neighbor under this hard situation, that was the purpose for starting to do that. I have two boys too, 11 years old and eight years old son. And if there is something like, you know, for example, like shave ice, and my neighbor, I will buy it. In return, local customers are starting to show up. We're all going through a crisis right now, and so it's important, you know, I came in here to buy some shaved ice for my kids. Some guests are taken out three times a week, so luckily we are supported for like nice neighbors. I think that's our mission. Let's stay open for the people who want to support us. So that's like something motivating us to keep open, I guess. He hopes more people will consider trying their sea urchin dishes or even a bowl of shave ice the next time they're passing by. Just don't forget about us. <laughs> If they don't forget about us, like, yeah, I'm just hoping, like, you know, we can reopen back to normal, rehiring all our staff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just, you know, I know it's just a matter of time. Like, it's just a matter of time. In Torrance, I'm Christine Lee, Kimbap TV.